A solar flare has caught astronomers by surprise, and what may be the largest amount of material ever released from the sun shot into space early today. It started with a medium-sized solar flare erupting on the right side of the sun. Now, that is not unusual, but the flare emitted a huge particle cloud that covered half the sun's surface. For more on this, we're joined by Andrew Fazekas. He runs his own website, The Night Sky Guy, and he's also a columnist for National Geographic. Hi, good afternoon. Hi. So why is everyone so excited about this? Well, you know, it's, it's pretty much an unprecedented event of seeing an eruption on the surface of the sun this large. And I think it, you know, I mean, I'm looking at all the comments coming from astronomers today and they're going, we've never seen anything of this size, of this magnitude occurring on the sun. And uh, you look at the video and it just speaks for itself. You can see it looks like somebody just kicked up a, you know, a clot of dust and, and, and it's raining back down mostly on the sun. It's pretty impressive. Many hundreds of times larger larger than our Earth. That's how large this eruption is. And d does it teach us anything new that we didn't know before? Well, what's very interesting about the sun is uh, we're learning about the inner clockwork of stars. Our sun is our closest star that we can view. Astronomers get the best views because we're so close to it. And what we're learning about it is that, that uh, it, it is actually getting uh, more active. Uh, it goes through an 11-year cycle, we know that, and it's reaching a peak in 2013. So astronomers are predicting that we'll see more and more of these solar flares on the surface of the sun, but there's still a lot of mystery of how how they're produced, and what kind of effect could it have on the Earth? That's one of the big mysteries as well. Well, could this type of thing pose a danger to those of us on Earth? Right. Well, this particular flare is only going to give us a glancing blow uh, here on Earth to our magnetic field. So we're probably just going to see, there's chances of seeing nice auroras, uh, northern lights, if you're in higher latitude areas in northern Canada. But other flares that are more directed towards Earth can produce what are called coronal mass ejections. These are large clouds of charged particles that can actually knock out satellite communication, fry circuit boards, even put down uh, power grids and uh, so it can cause a lot of you know problems for our technological society so it's important for us to keep watch of what the sun is doing right now no one's going to look directly at the sun so how were these images picked up well, these are all thanks to NASA's uh, Solar Dynamic Observatory. It, this is a satellite that's completely just devoted to watching our, our sun 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it picked this huge solar flare up uh, in the early morning hours, uh, in Canadian hours, uh, this morning. And uh, it really caught a lot of people off guard. Okay, Andrew, in addition to this solar flare, I gather that a new supernova star was discovered recently. What's the significance of that? Right, uh, keeping the theme of, of exploding stars. Right. Uh, astronomers are really abuzz about this uh, four new supernovas that have been discovered uh, literally halfway across the universe, about 8 billion uh, light years away uh, in other galaxies. Uh, they're, they've never seen this kind of supernova before. They have to actually create a whole new class of them. And it's exciting astronomers because this is the, it's 10 times brighter than any other exploding star ever seen, and it's lasted twice as long and the idea here is they think they can use these as sort of like cosmic flashlights uh, a, a, such a strong light source can actually light up surrounding gas and dust around the, the, the host galaxy around these supernova and teach us about some of the earliest galaxies you know in the universe of what they looked like the basic building blocks of things like the Milky Way that we live in our home galaxy ah, fascinating stuff okay thanks for your debrief this afternoon <laughs> You're welcome. Andrew.